Hello, it's Mr. Tang. Uh, today we'll be talking about volume. Okay, it's, um, now volume questions can be a little bit tricky as well. So we're going to take a look at the uh, questions from volume that appear in the past three years of the PSLE. Okay, without further ado, let's dive straight into the question and see what was being tested. So we will be doing every single one of them. Okay. <coughs> okay. So the first one, what is the volume of the cube shown? Um, well, you gotta. This, this, for this particular question, there's no need for a calculator. I'm just trying to get them out for questions later on. Okay, so what's the volume of the cube shown? Now, uh, to find volume is length times breadth times height. So in this case, it's 9 times 9 times 9. And this is paper 1, so you got to do your own multiplication. So 9 times 9, uh, I think it's pretty easy. 9, 9, 9. Okay, so it's uh, 81 times 9. Because this is uh, 9, 7, okay, 729 cm cube. Next question rectangle. Okay, okay, I just want to look at volume. Okay, so we're looking for volume question. Next, okay, so the volume of a cube is 27 cm cube. Find the parameter of one face of the cube. Now, since the volume is 27, what we want to do is to find. Uh, so a number here multiply by itself three times will give you 27. What is that number? Uh, it's 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3 will give you 27. So we want one phase of the cube. Uh, one phase of the cube is just 3 times 3 equals to 9 cm squared. So answer is right. Error. Sorry. They, they, are, they are asking for the parameter. So parameter is uh, 3 times 4. Okay, so 3 times 4 equals to 12. Next. So 3 volumes are given which is the smallest, which is the largest. So 1 liter is equals to 1000 milliliter. Okay, so there's a conversion that you need to know. Now, uh, 1.2 liter in this case is 1200 ml. 1022 ml. And this is one two five zero ml. So the largest one and one quart. Oh, the smallest one liter twenty two ml, and the largest is one and one quarter ml. So far so good. Okay. So volume questions. Uh, no, no, no. Skipping to all the volume questions only. You see what type of volume questions were being asked. Uh, and what are the concepts that they have tested? Okay, so here's another one. So a rectangular block cut along a dotted line to smaller blocks as shown. The volume of Z is 1470 cm more than Y. Okay. Drink some tea. So, okay, so 8, 13, um, is 10. So here is 10 centimeters as well. What is the height of each block? Okay, so I know that the, the, the area, I know, I know this is 10. Uh, so I know that the area, uh, I know the base area, the base area of Z is 150 cm square, the base area of Y is 80 cm square, and then I know that the difference between Z and Y is 1470. So, and the height are the same. Uh, what does this mean? This means if I take Z, you know, the volume of Z, I take away the volume of Y. <coughs> Um, it will give me 1470. So I have to find the height. So how to find the height in this case? Uh, so I got the base area. Now let's find what is the volume of uh, Z. Volume of Z, I just want to show you the thinking okay, behind the question. So volume of Z is equal to 150 times H. And the volume of Y is equal to 80 times h 
So if I find the difference, which is 150 h minus 80 h, it should give me um, 70 h. And 70 h is actually equal to 1470 cm3. So if 70 times h gives me 1470, I want to find h. You know how to find h? I think 1470 divided by 70. Divided by 70. So I get 21. Divided by 70. Okay, so the height h uh, is actually equals to 21. Okay? Next, uh, part B. So that's part A. So Peter packed 6 of block Z such that they fit exactly in the box with a square base. Okay, so um, the box has the same height as Z into 6. Uh, the box has, How many of block Y can be packed? 6. Of block Z, so I think it's a square base. Okay, so I want to fit a square base. Now, um, let's just look from the plan view. So this is 15 by 10. This is 15, this is 10. Okay, how to fit into a square base? Six of them. It's 15. Uh, this is the only way. Top view. Okay, so this is the only way to fit 6 of Z into the square base. So the base is 30 by 30. Okay, and the height is equal to 21. So I can actually find the... So how many of Y can be packed into such a box? Now Y is 8 by 10. So if it's 8 um, along, along this part, okay? by 10 so I can put 3 and then uh, here this side I can because it's 8 one side so I do 30 divided by 8 is 3 3 the height is the same as 1 so it's 3 times 3 equals to 9 huh? so we can pack 9 next 2018 volume question. Toast box. Okay, I like this style of tea. Okay, this is the last question. It's from 2018. 2018 volume question. So X and Y, two rectangular containers, the base is 30. Okay, let's write it down. <coughs> so base area here 30. Uh, base of Y has dimension as shown. X for this dimension is 80 cm cube. And Y was empty. What was the height of water level in X? Okay, so to find height. Right, so this is a bit of an advanced uh, volume because uh, usually to find volume length, the breadth, and height. But now you need to find height. To find height, the formula is to take volume divided by area. So 780 divided by 30, 26 centimeters. So that's the answer. Okay, so that's 26. So Sam pour some water from X to Y because after that the height of X was the same of Y. How much water? Okay, so this is advanced volume. Uh, what do we mean by that? Because we want to find the the height of water to be the same and the um the volume is the same as well so the only way for that to happen is that um you see the the we have to find the base area okay so what's the total base area of the two of them the total base area is total base area 30 plus 30 times 
Okay, so total base area. Now, um, imagine everything is one container. So I take 780 divided by 300. Because remember to find the height, we take the volume divided by area. So now my area has increased by this amount. Okay, I need to add the area. So 780 divided by 300 will give me 2.6 centimeter. What? X into Y without spilling. After that, the height was the same. Okay, so the height was 2.6 centimeter. So how much water did Sam pour? So I know that the the height is 2.6. Okay, so to find the volume of water that went in, what we have to do is to take 2.6 times uh, 270, which is the base area. So. 2.6 times 270, <coughs> 702 cm cube. And that will be the final answer. Okay, 702 cm cube. I believe that's all. Yep. Okay, so that is the final uh, volume question. Now, uh, so what do we learn here for volume questions? Now, for the past three years, I don't think there were a lot of difficult volume questions, but the most difficult was actually the one in 2018 where they asked about. Uh, not just finding the volume, but finding the height. Okay, and we also learned from the video that to find height, all you have to do is to take volume divided by the base area. You will be able to find the height. Okay, so that is all for today's video. It is about volume. And this is uh, Mr. Ting signing off with my Toastbox tea. Okay, one of my favorite tea. Okay, thanks.